shock. That's the reaction from Jacksonville State University student Alexis Page. She's one of many students upset about the transfer of a former Auburn football player once accused of rape. Landon Rice enrolled at JSU to play football. I feel like JSU is not doing their part to protect the students on our campus. While at Auburn, a woman filed a police report claiming Rice raped her in April 2016. A Title IX investigation found Rice was in violation of Auburn's policy on sexual and gender-based misconduct and Auburn dismissed him. Rice was not indicted and all sanctions against him have expired. And last time I checked, our Title IX standards are the same because we're both public institutions. JSU says it conducted a very thorough investigation on Rice, releasing this statement. After speaking with officials from Auburn, getting all the facts and meeting with Rice, we allowed him to enroll at JSU and join the football program. Although there are no criminal charges against Landon Rice, some students feel he still shouldn't be allowed on campus. You don't just kicked off a of campus for not doing anything. Some students don't feel safe on campus with Rice there and protested at a recent Board of Trustees meeting. This decision hasn't gone unnoticed and um, that we do care about it. We have something to say. Students say they are planning more protests and won't stop until their voices are heard. In Jacksonville, Larissa Scott, WVTM 13.